Hi folks, my name is Sergey Lemberg. I'm a consumer lawyer. My law firm, Lemberg & Associates, has represented thousands of people in lemon law disputes. I want to talk to you today a little bit about what happens after lemon law expires. So suppose you're in a state like New York and your lemon law is 18,000 miles or two years, but your car keeps breaking. So you are in a situation where, let's say your engine had to be replaced at 15,000 miles, you drive another 10,000 miles, and look, again, you're having engine problems, and your engine is sputtering or burning oil or whatever it is, you are past the lemon law, what do you do? Do you have a case? Well, the long and short of it is that you may have a case. In most states, well, in all states, there's something called breach of warranty. You have a warranty on your car that extends beyond the lemon law period. The warranty typically will extend 36 or 48,000 miles or 50,000 miles depending on the manufacturer. Now the warranty goes beyond the lemon law. So the manufacturer is obligated to repair your car or replace defective parts that are covered by the warranty during the period of the warranty. And that period, once again, is longer than the lemon law period. Now, what if the manufacturer can't do it, is unable to conform the car to the warranty, can't make the car work, the car keeps breaking all the time. In your example, the engine keeps breaking or the air conditioner keeps breaking and the manufacturer has tried to fix it a couple of times, three, four, five times, and it still continues to happen. Well, then you can sue the manufacturer for breach of warranty. You can essentially sue them for breaching the deal, breaching the contract with you to make the car as good as possible to fix the problems you're having. The breach of warranty claim is a sister or cousin of lemon law. It's what happens after lemon law. You can sue the manufacturer and the claim is, look, you breached the warranty. I can't use the car for what I intended to use it for. I can't use it to transport my family. It breaks all the time. It's a clunker. Now, what's the difference between the lemon law claim and the breach of warranty claim? The difference is that in most states, lemon laws will provide you for the right to give the car back and either get your money back or get a new car. But a breach of warranty case, for the most part, wouldn't get you a new car. And for the most part, a breach of warranty case wouldn't get you your money back. You might be entitled to cash compensation, money compensation, for the difference in value between the car that you have and the car that you should have. Or sometimes it's called the cost of repair of the vehicle. Sometimes it's one, two, three, five, ten thousand dollars depending on the price of the car and depending on what kinds of problems you're having. So don't assume that you have no case just because lemon law expired. You may have a case for breach of warranty. If you want your case to be evaluated and see if we can help you recover money, give us a call. We've helped thousands of people and we can help you recover for the difference in value or the damages in your breach of warranty case that happens after your lemon law expires.